Suddenly, last week, Johnson & Johnson put their hand up and said, we have a vaccine. Now, now we, we'd seen it slightly. They'd published their phase two trial, which was 395 people. It was safe. It was it boosted the immune system. So we, we knew they were doing it, you know. But suddenly, last week, they said, we are now starting our phase three. And it's a 60,000 person trial. Now, now, that's unbelievable number of people. This is the biggest trial in medical history. Nobody's ever on a trial or anything with that number of people. Mm. Can you imagine how huge the logistics are? It's being run in like seven countries, the US, Argentina, Brazil. Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, Peru. In other words, they've, they've been doing this and nobody's not kind of known about it. You know, they got 1.5 billion off the federal government in the US as part of the Warp Speed initiative, so that they got a reasonable allocation from that to help them do this, I guess. But the most exciting thing, Pat, is that this is, this is a vaccine that, that's more deployable, so you don't need to freeze it. Now, other vaccines you have to keep in the freezer or in the fridge. And that's always been an issue, by the way, in the developing world mm -hmm. with vaccines. You've got to keep the vaccine cool because it goes off, you see. This one uses a different technology. It doesn't need to be kept cold, basically. And that's logistically then really good. And the second is it's a one-shot vaccine, they think. Whereas the other ones, you need a shot and a booster shot, which is twice the effort, you know. So, so if this one gets through, this could easily dominate the market is the way to put it, I suppose, because of the convenience of its use.